Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, it's your boy Ryan here. Um, a lot of you asked me to do like a little um, walkthrough on how to set your settings up for your PlayStation 4 for the online to make it faster. Um, I did say I was going to do that, um, so this is for you guys. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to my settings. Okay. So basically what you want to do is you want to go to your network, obviously. You want to test your internet before you do this. So I'm going to test my internet. I already have the settings on my system, but I'm just going to show you how, to, how the, the speed is on mine right now. That's my speed right there. So that's not bad. Uh, usually I'd be 60s, but, uh, you know, we'll see. All right. Now, if you have Wi-Fi, you go to Wi-Fi. If you have LAN, you go to LAN, vice versa. Now, usually on mine, I go to easy, but, again... This is for those who cannot connect and having problems, so you want to go to manual. <coughs> Excuse me. And when you go to manual, uh, you're going to see your IP addresses. You're going to see everything, you know, you're going to know, you have to know what to put in. So for your IP address for your PlayStation 4, it can really be whatever number you want it to be. So let's say the default number that they gave your PS4, let's say your IP address was 192.168.1.2. Uh, 200. You can change it to any other number you want. Just make sure that IP address isn't the same number as like another device that you use or any other device in the house. You know what I'm saying? You don't want any, um, you don't want any problems with that. Okay. So this right here is my default one. So I'm going to keep that the same. Your subnet mask will always be 255, uh, 255.0. Like it always be, you know, three 255s and a zero. Uh, your default gateway. Now, this right here is basically your router's IP address. My router, I, I have NetDuma, so mine is, you know, 192.168.88.1. That's my uh, NetDuma's one. But uh, if you don't have a NetDuma, and let's say you have a regular router, usually your regular router would be like 192.168.1.1. Some of them be others. Like you just, and if you don't know your IP address, uh, go to portforward.com. Portforward.com is a good way of testing uh, to see where your what your IP address is. Usually it's 192.168.1.1. You know what I'm saying? Usually they tell you when you get your uh, router. Uh, now, for the primary DNS, you want to put all eights. You want to put 8.8.8.8. .8 and for your secondary DNS, you want to put 8.8.4.4. These are the Google servers, so you want to turn those to those. All right. Now, MTU. Now, the MTU, there are two MTUs you can use for PlayStation uh, Network. You can use 1473, which is immediately, you know, that's, that's Sony's immediate one also. But you can also, if this one doesn't work and you're still having problems, you can use 1450. That's another good one for Sony. So I'm going to use 1450. I'm going to go down, and it's going to ask you for the proxy server. You say no, and then you test your internet connection. And let's see how it looks. We're testing, and we are good. We are in. Now, with that being said, let's see how we're connecting online. Let's go here. All my friends are loading pretty fast. There you go. That's pretty fast. Everybody's on. Let's see my mess. Nah, not really my messages. I uh, see my profile. Let's see how that loads. Will that load fast? And it does. It loads pretty fast. My friends. All that jazz. There you go. And I'm going to launch a game. Actually, I have Crash on the back burner. What I'm going to do is for Crash, I'm simply going to close the application. I'm going for time trials right now, or uh, relics on Crash. So that's just to close that. And I'm going to launch a game. And I'm going to show you how the speed looks and vice versa. And you can uh, you tell me if it runs faster. So let's see. Let's go. I also recommend if you... um have a PlayStation 4 or you're looking to a PlayStation 5 and vice versa, the solid state drives that they give you for your consoles aren't really the best, so you definitely might want to um, invest in a better one down the road. It's a lot better if you invest in a better one. Uh, I recommend, like, uh, they're on uh, YouTube. I mean, not YouTube. They're on uh, Amazon. Okay, awesome. I got some nitro grapes. Ooh, see some uh, So... All right, that's my season rewards. That's pretty cool. And uh, now, let's see. Do I have any keys? Hold on one second. I don't think I have a key. Do I have a key? Nah, no keys. Let me get some keys. But uh, let's go ahead. And, uh, oh. Okay. Excuse me, there's a new update. I forgot all about this update. Let's find a match. 
they fixed a lot of other stuff in this. And we should be fine in the game. Now what you want to be looking for is your ping, obviously. You're going to look for your ping on the right side on Rocket League. Uh, Call of Duty, it's a little hard to test that. And there's my ping, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in the 40, okay, 36. So, there you go. Let's see the responses. Had a better team, well, obviously, but you get what I'm saying. You want to test how you're doing. Not clear, but this guy just out of here. Come on, hit it. Come on, guys, hit it. Oh boy, great pass, guy. <laughs> yes, that was a major save. No, it wasn't. There you go, pass. There you go. Atta girl. Ooh, and they changed the uh, explosion, so there you go. <laughs> there you go, I should tell you something. <laughs> uh, but there you go. There, that's, there's your, um, there's my settings. Uh, I'm probably going to change mine back to normal. I mean, these are all right. I mean, um, but this is for those, obviously, who can't really, um, who are having problems connecting and vice versa. And if you are having problems connecting, hopefully this fixes your problem. If you have uh, any questions, let me know. I'll be more than happy to uh, hit you up. Like, you can hit me up and I'll answer your question. So, there you go. Oh, that tracks. Oh, whatever. But there you go. That's it, though. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, I will see you guys later. Thank you guys again for all the support. And you guys.